Here are two glasses of orange juice. We're going to add water to one of them to dilute it. You can instantly see the difference. It's easy to tell which one is weaker, but how do you deal with diluting to a specific concentration? First of all, we need to find out what concentration means. It is the abundance of a substance in a given amount of mixture. This might sound a bit complicated, so here's a demonstration involving pasta spirals. Here we have a dish with one painted dry pasta spiral. We could say that it is 100% of the spirals are painted, and it is a pure sample of painted pasta spirals. But what do we do if we want to reduce the concentration to 10%? Some people might rush in and say that you need to add 10 equal amounts of plain pasta but that would be wrong and this is why. 10 equal amounts of spirals means that we would need to add 10 spirals to the existing painted spiral so the total is now 11. But remember, one of the 11 spirals is painted so the concentration is 1 in 11 or about 9%. We need a concentration of exactly 10%. The correct answer is to add 9 plain spirals. Now we have 10 spirals in total and one of them is painted, which means we have a concentration of 10%. We can use this to make a concentration of 1%. Let's look at the maths. Here is our 10% sample. There are 10 spirals in total. We would have to add 90 plain spirals to get a total of 100 spirals. And here's our little black pasta. We would still have one painted spiral from our original pure sample, but now we have one per hundred, which can be expressed as 1%. Knowing how to mix up specific concentrations is important in chemistry, biology and medicine. It's even useful when mixing up the perfect cocktail this summer. This is Science Rocks.